Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Creel couldn't be here today, so he asked me to teach you about combining volumes. He told me that you've already been talking about this for a couple of days in your Zoom sessions. This is the Common Core Standard 5.md.5.c, or in our Pearson Math or your Pearson Math series, it's 12.6. So I have a sample all ready to go from page 320 of your math book. And I'll have a picture of this as a favor to Mr. Creel. You know, <laughs> you guys know, uh, did you hear that the Energizer Bunny got arrested? Yeah, he was charged with battery. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Actually, a prisoner's favorite battery is Doracell. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. So you're being asked to find a volume of an irregular shape, okay? So what you need to try to do is think of this as you're pounding the rocks. You need to try to think of this as two separate prisms, okay? So what you want to do, okay, there's usually more than one way to do this, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a red marker, and I'm going to fill in this imaginary line here, right along here, okay? You'll see it here in a moment. So I want you to try to conceive of this as now two separate rectangular prisms. And i got to do this quickly, okay? But I'm just going to highlight this one in green, okay? Hopefully you can see that, okay? Hopefully that kind of stands out a bit, okay, good. And then I'll do this one here real quick, just slightly and quickly, in pink, okay? So you can see the difference between the two, especially along there. Okay, how does that look, camera guy? All right, good. Okay, so now here's what you need to do. We're going to try to determine the volume of the green one first. So it is seven wide, okay, seven wide, that's the width, okay, it is eight deep, okay, eight deep, okay, that's the depth. Okay, and then the height you see here is 2. Okay, now as your teacher has taught you, Mr. Creel has taught you, you just then have to multiply. Okay, and the order doesn't matter. So for me, to make it a little easier, I'm going to do that first. 7 times 8 is 56. I'm bringing this down. 56 times 2. Now, 50 times 2 is 100, and 2 times 6 is 12. You put them together. And that is 112 units, and they're cubic units. But you're not finished. We're not finished, because now we got to do this one on top, the one in the pink. Okay, so I'm just going to write green right here, green, and then we'll figure out the pink. So, it's 5 tall, it's 5 wide, and it is also 8 from front to back. So I'm going to put a thick line here so there's no confusion. Okay, so the pink one we're doing here. So it is 5 multiplied by 5, because two of the dimensions have the same length. 5 times 5 times 8. Now again, and I cannot stress this enough, the order, it just doesn't matter, because multiplication is commutative. Okay, got a letter from my wife. She sent me a letter in jail, and she said, I want to plant a vegetable garden. I said, no, 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 whatever you do... Don't plant anything in the garden. That's where I hid the money. So I get a letter a few days later. She said a bunch of guys came with picks and shovels and dug everything up, turned the garden all over. So I sent her another letter. I said, honey, now's the time to plant the garden. <laughs> all right. So look, 8 times 5 is 40, right? That's part of your times tables. There's the 40. And then you multiply that by 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Don't forget the zero. So there's the 20, and then put that zero there, and this is 200 units cubed. But we are not finished. We're, we're not done, because now we've got to add these two together. 112 plus 200. So I'm going to make a little box here, because I never want to confuse anybody. So we have 112 here, and we're adding that to 200 here. Okay, this is the ones column, tens column hundreds column. So this all combined is 412, 412 cubic units. 
Okay, all right. So, I've got one other example to show you. And that's not it. <sighs> yeah, I remember my first night talking to my cellmate. He said, what do you guys do for fun? He said, well, I like to tell each other jokes. I like jokes. As, uh, he said, we don't even bother because we know all the jokes. We just assign them numbers. He's like, give it a try. I said, like, okay. So I yelled out, 44! And all these guys start laughing. I mean, pretty good laughter, too. I said, yeah, that's great. He's like, yeah, yeah, try another. I yelled out, 72! And that really got him laughing. It was great. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. He's like, yeah, yeah, give him one more. I said, 102! And I mean, the place blew up, erupted in laughter. Guys are holding their stomachs, can't breathe, tears streaming down their face, they're laughing so hard. I said, wow, wow, what did it? He's like, we've never heard that one before. All right, so uh, we're going to look at this one, okay? All right. Uh, okay, so we have the same thing going on here, okay? So what I'm going to do, okay? Same as before, I'm going to put a line right here. Right there, I'm going to put a line, okay? This is going to be the green. You can see it here, hopefully. Hopefully that shows up. Okay, i got to ask the camera guy. Does that look pretty green? Good, okay. All right. And then we got the pink is this one on the bottom here, okay? I think I grabbed the wrong hand of that's all right. Okay. So we have the green here. We got the pink here. Okay. All right. Now we're, going to, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. So now we're just looking at the green. It's six deep. It's three high. Six deep, three high. So six multiplied by three. And then the height here. You have to be careful. Okay. Because the whole height is five, but it's three here. Okay, sorry, wait, no, I'm messing myself up. Two wide, sorry, there it is, two wide. Okay, perfect. We got this. All right, so here, three times two is six. There's the six. Wait, sorry, three by six by two, yep. Uh, six times six, this is 36 units cubed. Okay, good. All right, now we got to do the one on the bottom. So it's 10 is the length, the longest dimension is usually called the length, six deep, and here's where we got to be real careful because this is only two high, so it's ten times two times six. So ten is the length, the width is six, and the height is two. Now ten is so easy to multiply, I'm going to do this first, six times two is twelve, and there's the ten, and ten times twelve is one hundred twenty, and just as before, just as before, okay, we have to add 36 to 120, 120 plus 36, ones, tens, hundreds. So all combined, it's 156 units cubed. Make sure that these are cubic units, okay? Hey, did you hear uh, the, the, about the belt that got arrested? Yeah, it held up a pair of pants. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool. All right, so listen, I, I've got to go and do absolutely nothing at all. Uh, be good, add up your units, and remember, volume is always done in cubic units. Wash your hands.